everyone, welcome back to Actual English. My name is Jennifer Clyde. It is a pleasure to have you back. Now, this week we have been talking about bank-related topics,、uh, things that we normally do to send money, to receive money. Now, today let's talk about spending money, purchasing things, or buying things online. So, do you often make purchases online? Do you like to shop on the internet? I don't like to do it very often、um, because I do not feel secure or safe about entering my personal information. I'm just,、uh, yeah, one of those people that kind of feel that it is a scary thing to do, just in case, right? But anyhow, we can buy lots of things, buy tons of things, just about anything and everything online these days. So let's talk about that. Today's topic once again is buying things online. Hey Peter, are you a bit of a shopper? No, not much. Not but much?、Um, I, I had an interesting situation the other day, and I was wondering: Do you feel safe ordering things online? No. Thing is, I'm a bit of an offline shopper. I like to see the stuff that I'm purchasing、mm-hmm. beforehand, especially grocery items. Okay. I have a friend who gets her stuff delivered every、oh, single groceries. week. Oh, groceries. Groceries. Okay. She just sits at the computer and clicks on all the items that she wants, and she gets it delivered. That's kind of cool.、Um, but、uh, for me, I think. Um, me and my wife,、uh, we order things that we can't find at the local store、oh, online. So you have to enter your credit card information or use, you know,、uh, yeah, one of those payment services gateways. That's a little bit of a problem I face too, because I don't really like entering my credit card details online. Well, not for a small company. <laughs> oh, exactly, and you don't know whether it's safe. Even those security、um, codes and stuff. Sometimes I think it's mostly safe. It is, but sometimes it doesn't work, and it goes way back to the beginning, and you have to enter all the details again. <laughs> yeah, that can be annoying. Yeah, and if it's not compatible with the computer you're using,、mm. it doesn't work, and you can't make your purchases online.、Mm-hmm. So that's a bit inconvenient as well. I see. Yeah, I'm thinking you buy baby products online. Yeah, a lot of things we can't find here,、um, so we'll just get them shipped.、Uh, Other than that,、um, you know, the other day I was when I was in the U.S. I、mm-hmm. ordered a pizza、um, online. Online, yeah, yeah you, you can, can track it as well. Oh, really? Yeah, you can. They make it, and then they tell you that it's, like it's a, getting a bar going yeah, up the, down the bottom. Yeah, that it's getting delivered. Let's order a pizza. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Did you enjoy today's actual talk conversation? We had Peter and Joanne tell us about what they think about online shopping. So,、uh, what did they say? I think Joanne does not feel safe about shopping online.、Uh, she and I are very similar. We don't feel comfortable entering、uh, our personal information, such as our credit card information, on the internet. What about Peter? He did mention that he has shopped online、uh, a couple of times, but he doesn't do it on a regular basis. But I do have to say, shopping online is very easy. It's very convenient. You can buy perhaps anything, just about everything on the internet, just with a few clicks, right? Okay, Anielle, let's take a look. Here we go. Joanne begins by saying, "Hey, Peter, are you a shopper?" Hmm. Are you a shopper? What does that mean? A shopper. So here we have the word shopper. As you see, there is an e r at the end, which means that we're talking about a person. Okay, a shopper is a person who buys things. A person who shops. So if you say I am a shopper, it means that you enjoy shopping. You love to buy things, so she's asking, "Do you like to buy things? Do you like to shop for things? Are you a shopper?" Well, Peter said, "No, not much," which means he doesn't shop very often, as we all know already, right? Okay, he says, "But I was wondering." He's curious, right? Do you feel safe ordering things online? Okay. Now, as you can see, it's underlined, so we'll practice it as a pattern later on in today's actual expression segment. But the question is, do you feel safe 
purchasing things, ordering things online. And Joanne says, no, very simple, no. I don't feel safe shopping online. Thing is, I'm a bit of an offline shopper. Mm, I see. So she doesn't really shop online, but she does so offline, meaning she likes to go to actual stores, little stores, big stores, perhaps even boutiques or even uh, shops at uh, a department store, for example. I'm a bit of an offline shopper. I like to see the stuff. Stuff meaning things, items, products that I'm purchasing when? Beforehand. Before means what? We're talking about the beginning stage of something. So beforehand means in advance. So she likes to go to actual stores and she likes to see the items with her own eyes before she buys them. Beforehand, especially Grocery items. Definitely, I would have to agree with Joanne. But it's interesting how lots of people even、uh, buy groceries online. I don't think I could ever do that, but okay. Anyhow, that's her story. She likes to go to the shops or even to the supermarket to buy groceries in person, not online. Now she says, I have a friend. Okay, she's telling us a story about a friend of hers. I have a friend. Who gets her stuff delivered, okay, every single week? Now we've got week and every single week, meaning every week. But why did she mention single week? Every week and every single week means the same thing. But if you add a single there, by saying every single week, you are stressing that you are doing something very often, okay? So I have a friend who gets her stuff delivered, okay, every single week. And then、uh, Peter says, "Groceries? Hmm. Yes, that's what I would ask to groceries. She gets groceries delivered every single week." And Joanne says, "Mm-hmm. Groceries. She just sits at the computer and clicks on all the items that she wants and." She gets them delivered. Now, if you ever have a chance to talk about what or how you can shop online to buy things, you could say this: You sit at the computer, meaning in front of the computer. You sit at your desk at your computer and click on all the items you want, and you get them delivered. You get things delivered to you. Okay, somebody delivers it to you, and then Peter says that's kind of cool. Hmm, nice. That's kind of cool. And then he says,、um, but my wife and I, actually, in today's actual talk conversation, Peter said me and my wife, but I have switched the orders because this is grammatically correct. Okay, my wife and I. My wife and I, we order things that we cannot find, that we can't find at the local store online. So here we have online. Do not get confused. Here he's saying him and his wife they order things that they cannot find at the local store. Pause online. Okay. So they buy items they can't find at local stores. Online. So remember to make or put a pause between a store and online. Here it is one more time. My wife and I, we order things that we can't find at the local store. Online means that's right. You buy whatever you can't find online. Only those items. And then he says, so you have to enter your credit card information, or. Use one of those payment services, and he says gateways at the end. Now this is how you would make a purchase online. Let's take a look at it. Okay, you have to enter or press your credit card information, or another option is to use one of those payment services, which can be called a gateway. Okay, one of those meaning one of the many. Uh, payment services, so we're saying gateways. A gateway 
could perhaps be an entrance. Okay, in this case, we are talking about perhaps uh, an interface, for example, in hardware and software that lets you purchase things. Okay, that allows you to purchase things. So he's talking about one of those payment services. Now, Joanne says, I don't really like entering my credit card details online. I do agree. I don't feel comfortable. I don't think it's very safe. But she says, you don't know whether it's safe or not is actually omitted. Okay, that would be the, uh, the complete form. You don't know whether it's safe or not. But she simply said, you don't know whether it's safe. So I don't really like to enter my credit card information online. Now, Peter says, I think it's mostly safe. Don't worry so much. I think it's mostly safe. And then Joanne says, sometimes it doesn't work. Hmm, that's right. For me, sometimes it doesn't work. And she says, and it goes way back to the beginning. It takes you to the beginning, to the very first stage. And you have to enter all the details again. I'm sure this has happened to you before, okay? You fill in all the blanks, you enter all the information they ask for, and then one thing you do incorrectly, it takes you to step one. That is exactly what she's talking about. So sometimes it doesn't work, and it goes way back, way back to the beginning, and you have to enter all the details, all the information again. And then Peter says, yeah, that can be annoying. It can be very irritating, right? Moving on, Joanne says, yeah, if it's not compatible with the computer you're using. Now, if you say compatible, it means suitable, okay? If it's compatible, it's suitable. If it's not, they don't work together, okay? If it's not compatible with the computer you're using, it doesn't work. And you can't make your purchases online. That's right, you cannot make your purchases. And then she's saying, I'm thinking you buy baby products online. Notice, that's a question, she brings it up. It may look like a sentence, but she has made it into a question. She says, I'm thinking you buy baby products online, online, okay? He says, yeah, a lot of the things we can't find here. Okay, the things we're talking about, baby products, things for the babies, okay? So we'll just get them shipped. This is another way of saying get something delivered. Now you can have something delivered to you, in most cases uh, from close places, but if you're ordering something or making an overseas purchase, okay, they have to ship the items to you, okay? From a far away country, you would say shipped. You can say delivered or shipped as well. And then he says, other than that, when I was in the US, okay, this is a time in the past, he says, I ordered a pizza online. This is a pattern we'll practice later on. And the Joanne says, you can track it as well. Track something means to follow something, okay? Keep an eye on something so you know exactly what is happening. And then she says, you make it, and uh, they make it, and they tell you that it's getting delivered. She's talking about pizza delivery, okay? You make an order, ask them to deliver a pizza to you, and you can track it. I've actually tried this on my mobile phone, okay? You could uh, press a few buttons, I guess, and then it tells you whether the pizza has been made already and whether it's already being delivered or not. So I think it's a, a great service. Anyhow, sounds like Peter's hungry. He says, let's order a pizza. Sounds wonderful. Okay, let's have a listen one more time. Hey, Peter, are you a bit of a shopper? No, not much, not but much? Um, I, I had an interesting situation the other day, and I was wondering, do you feel safe ordering things online? No, thing is, I'm a bit of an offline shopper. I like to see the stuff that I'm purchasing mm -hmm. beforehand, especially grocery items. Okay. I have a friend who gets her stuff delivered every oh, single groceries. week. Oh, groceries. Groceries. Okay. She just sits up the computer and clicks on all the items that she wants, and she gets it delivered. That's kind of cool. Um... 
But uh, for me, I think um, me and my wife, uh, we order things that we can't find at the local store oh, online. I see. So you have to enter your credit card information or use, you know, uh, yeah. one of those payment services, gateways. That's a little bit of a problem I face too because I don't really like entering my credit card details online. Well, not for a small company. <laughs> oh, exactly. And you don't know whether it's safe. Even those security um, codes and stuff, sometimes... I think it's mostly safe. It is, but sometimes it doesn't work. And it goes way back to the beginning, and you have to enter all the details again. <laughs> yeah, that can be annoying. Yeah, and if it's not compatible with the computer you're using, mm. it doesn't work, and you can't make your purchases online. Mm -hmm. So that's a bit inconvenient as well. I see. Yeah, I'm thinking you buy baby products online. Yeah, a lot of things we can't find here, um, so we'll just get them shipped. Uh, other than that, um, and, you know, the other day I was when I was in the U.S., I mm -hmm. ordered a pizza um, online. Online, yeah. yeah you, you can, can track it as well. Oh, really? Yeah, you can. They make it, and then they tell you that it's, like it's a, getting... It's like a bar going yeah, up the, down the bottom. Yeah, that it's getting delivered. Let's order a pizza. All right. I'm so hungry. Now, are you ready for today's actual expressions? Let's begin with some vocab. As you see, we've got three for you. Now, gateway. As I did mention, a gateway can be an entrance to a certain place, especially an entrance that has a gate that you can open and close or lock as well. But in today's actual talk conversation, Peter mentioned something about a service. That's right, a payment service that could be called a gateway, okay? So a gateway can be something found in hardware and software. It usually helps uh, you pass information. It allows information to be passed from one place to another, especially uh, among incompatible computers. So, another word for it could be interface or similarly, a portal as well, okay? Gateway, gateway is the way you pronounce it. The next word is compatible. Compatible, as I did mention, it means adaptable or suitable, okay? And track. Joanne mentioned something about how you can track something, okay? Uh, keep track of something. Simply put, it means to follow. Be informed or to keep informed about something. Okay, let's move on to some patterns for us to keep in mind when it comes to talking about purchasing things or buying things online. Now, this was something they mentioned in the beginning of the conversation, right? To feel safe ordering something online. Let's make two sentences with this. I feel safe ordering anything online. That's right. This is what you can say, especially if you buy everything online. If you feel comfortable purchasing things online, you can say, I feel safe ordering anything online ordering everything online. If you want to stress it, you can say, I feel safe ordering everything and anything, or anything and everything online. Got it? Okay, one more. I don't feel safe ordering food online. This is what I would say too. So let's practice it two times. I don't feel safe ordering food online. I don't feel safe ordering food online. Okay. Moving on to another pattern, have to enter. Often when you buy things online, you do have to punch in a lot of things, right? You have to enter your name, you have to enter your credit card information, um, your bank information sometimes as well, and lots more. So let's take a look at some sentences. You have to enter your personal information. One more time, you have to enter your personal information. So add what you have to enter, okay? What about in this sentence? Let's take you into the past. Had, I had to enter my credit card information. One more time. I had to enter my credit card information. And our next pattern is to order something online. You can purchase or order something online. Let's do it. I ordered a new bed online. 
I ordered a new bed online. So mention whatever you purchased or bought online. Okay. If you already did it, take it into the past and say ordered. I ordered a new bed online. And one final sentence. I'm thinking of. Now you have not made this purchase yet. I'm thinking of ordering cosmetics online. I'm thinking of purchasing or ordering cosmetics online. I think it's very common for people to say makeup. There's nothing wrong with that, but I think hmm, it sounds a bit I don't know, a bit more like quality English, I guess. So you can say makeup, but try saying cosmetics. Okay, cosmetics. I'm thinking of ordering cosmetics online. I've actually ordered cosmetics online in the past. So that's my experience. Okay, that is a wrap for today's actual expressions. So as far as online shopping goes,、um, I'm not sure about other people, but I've always been a little bit apprehensive when it comes to online banking and、um, online shopping. It's more for maybe air flight tickets or、um, maybe the odd clothes shopping. It seems like in Korea though, it's a little bit easier to do. I actually use my mobile to deliver food, and I don't even have to call the restaurant or anything, so it's really convenient. And I I find that the online shopping in Korea seems like it's really fast and dependable.、Um, as far as things that I've actually bought, it's mostly been、um, like I said, the flight tickets. Or、um, occasionally, I'll sign up for different、um, promotions that kind of send you deals every month about the city that you live in. That's really popular in Canada,、um, so that's been mostly my experience with it. Okay, everyone, it's time for actual story—a chance for us to find out what other people have to say about today's topic. So we're talking about shopping online or buying things online. And what did Kayla say? She's mentioned a few interesting things. She said that she was always、um, a bit worried. She didn't feel comfortable about buying things online, but she likes to order food with her mobile phone. Let's check out what else she mentioned. Here we go. She says, "I've always been a little bit apprehensive about." Online banking and online shopping. Okay, so here in the beginning we see always been, which means in the past and even right now. For a long, long time, she has been a little bit apprehensive. The word apprehensive is、um, worrisome. So if you feel apprehensive about something, you are feeling uneasy about something. Okay. I've always been a little bit apprehensive about online banking and online shopping. What else did she say? It's more for flight tickets, or maybe odd clothes shopping. Now, it we're talking about shopping online. So she says, I rarely shop online, but if I do, it's more for flight tickets. She did say air flight tickets. You don't necessarily have to say air, so I omitted air. You can say flight tickets. So she buys flight tickets online or odd clothes. Okay, you know this and that, maybe T-shirts and stuff. So that is what she buys online. But what's it like in Korea? She says it seems like in Korea, it's a little bit easier to do. It's a lot easier to do in Korea, I think. And then moving on, she says, "I use my mobile or mobile to have food delivered." Okay. Now she is not delivering food; she's having food delivered, right? So this means she orders things and gets food delivered to her. But did you notice she just said mobile, not mobile phone, but just mobile? Okay. I use my mobile. Meaning mobile phone to have food delivered, and let's check out one last sentence. I find that online shopping in Korea is really fast and dependable. Okay, so here find is not that she has searched for something and found something. She is just talking about how she. 
feels about something, what she thinks about something. I think that. I feel that. I find that. They all mean the same thing. Online shopping in Korea is really fast. It's very quick and dependable. Dependable meaning that you can trust it. Okay, dependable, dependable. Okay, that is exactly what Kayla mentioned today in today's actual story. Check it out one more time. So as far as online shopping goes, um, I'm not sure about other people, but I've always been a little bit apprehensive when it comes to online banking and um, online shopping. It's more for maybe air flight tickets or um, maybe the odd clothes shopping. It seems like in Korea, though, it's a little bit easier to do. I actually use my mobile to deliver food, and I don't even have to call the restaurant or anything, so it's really convenient. And I, I find that the online shopping in Korea seems like it's really fast and dependable. Um, as far as things that I've actually bought, it's mostly been, um, like I said, the flight tickets, or um, occasionally I'll sign up for different um, promotions that kind of send you deals every month about the city that you live in. That's really popular in Canada. Um, so that's been mostly my experience with it. Now, I hope you all had a fun time with me, an interesting time with our lesson today as we talked about buying things online. Now, tomorrow we'll be talking about something very similar, a related topic, of course. We'll be talking about making money transfers, meaning sending money, wiring money to somebody else or to a company or even to someone else in a foreign country. Now, we did briefly mention this uh, on Monday as we were talking about internet, bank, uh, internet banking and um, online banking, but let's focus more on actual money transfers, making transactions, all right? Okay, that is our lesson for tomorrow, but in the meantime, feel more than free to come to our homepage. Find your way over to www.ebse.co.kr and swing by to leave us a message. Okay, that is all for today. I'll see you again next time. Bye, everyone.